fellow Nigerians in response to the executive thievery going on at the NDDC. We, members of the Global Coalition for Security and Democracy in Nigeria, have written a petition to the President of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari. I have here with me a copy of the letter which I wish to read to you. Global Coalition for Security and Democracy in Nigeria, Headquarters, Texas, United States of America, dated 20th July 2020. His Excellency President Muhammadu Buhari, GCFR, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Aso Rock Villa, Abuja, Nigeria. Sir, the NDDC Pro, a request for the suspension of Chief Godswill Akbabio, Minister of the Niger Delta. It is with deep shock that we have been observing revelations concerning the shared thievery going on at the Niger Delta Development Commission, supervised by the Minister of the Niger Delta under Minister Godswill Akbabio. It is no longer news that the Commission was formed in order to address the issues of development in that region. It is quite unfortunate that the same persons appointed to galvanize the development of their region are the same persons stealing the resources and further impoverishing their people. Revelations made at the investigative panel of the National Assembly by Joy Nunier on how Godswill Akpabio used his position to other suppressors to unlawfully take, take some files out of the NDDC office cannot be overlooked. These actions are punishable offenses and they will definitely impede the work of the investigative panel. This is a resemblance of the report that some persons attempted to broke into the computer of the EFCC to steal sensitive information. The unlawful attempt to arrest Joinunier in order to prevent her from testifying before the panel further confirms that there are some persons that are very desperate to frustrate the forensic audit which you set up, set up but was eventually hijacked. You rightly suspended Mr. Ibrahim Mago of the EFCC according to the provisions of the law when the investigative panel of the EFCC began and we equally believe that in the light of this we should respectfully request as follows. One, that God's will Akpabio should quickly be suspended as the Minister of the Niger Delta to prevent internal frustrations of the investigative panel and other forensic audits. Two, that the Interim Monitoring Committee should be sacked while the investigation continues. Three, that a new board should be set up to manage the affairs of the NDDC soonest. Four, that whoever is involved directly or indirectly in looting the resources of the Niger Delta people should face the wrath of the law, no matter its political affiliation or positions. Five, that the police officers involved in the unlawful attempt to arrest Joy Nunier should be fully sanctioned. So, we are mindful of the fact that Nigerians and the international community are anxiously waiting to see how you will eventually handle this unfortunate crisis in your quest to fight corruption in Nigeria. We look forward to your kind response in this matter. Signed by Frederick Odorige, Global Coordinator, and Edmond Ike, Global Secretary. Fellow Nigerians, we all saw the video of the acting managing director of the interim management managing committee of NDDC when he was acting to be fainting during the panel at the National Assembly. 
Sometimes they come with neck gaps. Sometimes they come with stretch outs to panels like this because they feign that they are sick. Sometimes they end up getting permission from the court to travel abroad. But when they were stealing the money, they were never sick. This must teach us a lesson. For those of you that are agitating for the disintegration of Nigeria, nine states of Nigeria make up the NDDC, Abia, Imo, Ondo, Delta, Edo, Rivers, Akwaibo, Bias, and Cross River State. Now, these are the same people that are stealing the resources of the people. So who is marginalizing who? Who is marginalizing who? The same people. They are all from Biafra. They are all from Oduduwa. They are all from Niger Delta, stealing the resources of their people under NDDC. If we speak with one voice as a people, we shall surely overcome. We have common enemies. It is cowardice for 200 million people to run away for, 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 from, from the 5,000 common thieves that are in government. We cannot continue like that. We are born for battles, and surely we are born for victories. If we don't give up before the finishing line, a new Nigeria will surely emerge from our ashes. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.